Good afternoon, everyone. This is Diane, and uh, I am not editing this or anything, so it's just going to be a quick video on inkjet water transfers. Start by saying I always print up at least three of what I'm going to transfer. That way, if I mess up, I don't have to get frustrated. Just toss it, quick sand, start over. Uh, this is supposed to be fun. Let's not make it a hassle. Number two, board is sanded to at least 120 and go over it to get the dust off of it. That's going to help. First thing I do is secure it with tape. Now, your board needs to be secured too because paper that gets wet will buckle and tear. And so you don't want things slipping when you're trying to rub on it. Uh, take a towel. This is what I've been doing. Take a towel. This is wet. This is not dripping. So if I squeeze it, I'm going to get a couple drips. Of, well, actually, I just want it about like that. Sorry, guys. Um, and then wipe the board. Wipe the board with a wet towel. And then once you have the board wet, uh, flip this over and smooth it onto the board. And it will somewhat stick. Okay. Okay and then wipe it in the same direction. Now, this will cause the ink to start showing. This will take a couple seconds, maybe a minute and a half. The ink, the water will absorb into the paper and start to release the ink. And if you have to do it more than once, dab, because you don't want to rip that tender paper. Once your ink is starting to look like it's coming all the way through, then at that point, take a rubber bowl spatula, which is firm, it's firm, but it's not a, a metal that would tear the bread, the paper. And then just at a low angle, Put some firm pressure over it and go slowly, once again, careful not to rip the paper. As you can see, it's coming through more and more. Now, when I printed this up, I did print it so that I have one of the settings on more ink per space, whatever that DPI or whatever it is, uh, too, so that it has a better idea that it's going to transfer. Okay, so I'm not in a hurry because I'm giving the water a chance to absorb and release the ink. And I'm only going to do this just a couple of more times and then you'll see. And if you start to do it too much, it will start to smear. If it starts to smear, that's okay. Don't continue, but just lift. So... I'm going to try to lift this and see how we're doing. Voila. So it's not hard. It's pretty simple. Um, I have an HP printer that is just an inkjet printer, nothing fancy. Like I said, uh, I always print up a couple so that if this paper tears or if I get too much water and it smears, I can just quick tear this off, wait a minute or two for this to dry, re-sand it. It comes off so quick if you're re-sanding it because that ink is not deep in that wood. Um, I hope this helps. I did not use coffee and cream this time, just plain water.